Hey everybody, it's Caden from Achievement Hunter, and it's time for September's gaming release roundup in this episode of Coming Soon. As always, let's hit the multi-platform releases first. Released on September 3rd for the PS3 and September 4th for the 360 and PC, the remake of the 1990 Genesis classic Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse finally hits. Unlike the DuckTales remastering, Castle of Illusion is done in a 2.5D style with 3D characters and backgrounds on a 2D plane. New additions to the game include the ability to move around in three dimensions in certain puzzle areas, the castle, which was previously for transition purposes only, can now be completely explored, and unlockable outfits for Mickey accessible by getting the collectibles. Also on September 3rd, a year after its PC release, Diablo 3 makes its way to the Xbox 360 and PS3. Starting off at the 1.0.7 patch, the console version has a large amount of design changes and is already being called the best version of Diablo 3. The entire game has been reworked with controllers in mind. Click to move has been replaced with a traditional move analog stick to move character in its place. Abilities are grouped and mapped to slots using the face buttons and triggers, and the game is now a bit more fast paced. If you've been waiting to get a copy of Diablo 3, now is definitely the time. September 3rd's releases continue with Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate for the 360 and PS3, a souped up version of last year's Dead or Alive 5. The core of the game's changes stem from the Vita of Dead or Alive 5 Plus, but also includes new fixes, costumes, and five new characters. Momiji, Jack Bryan, Leon, Ayn, and Rachel. All the DLC from the original version of the game will be included in Ultimate, however, costume packs 3, 6, 7, and 8 will not be included. But if you had previously purchased them for the original version of the game, you will be able to use them in Ultimate as well. Rayman Legends is our final multi-platform release for September 3rd, being released on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, Vita, and PC. A sequel to Rayman Origins, Legends will retain a similar main game mode, allowing for four co-op players to go on yet another wacky adventure. Along with tons of new levels and game modes, Legends also includes 40 redone levels from Origins. Sadly, much like its predecessor, Rayman Legends will be a couch co-op game only and has no online game modes. But don't let this deter you, as Legends' main game has over 12 hours of content. On September 10th, it's time for NHL 14 to get its launch on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Now using the same physics engine that powers Madden and the Enforcer engine used by Fight Night, the collisions hit harder and are more realistic. The other major additions to NHL 14 are the off-the-ice interactions during career mode giving the players more character, and a redone version of NHL 94 to celebrate the game's 20th anniversary. Grand Theft Auto 5, easily one of the most anticipated games for September, gets its worldwide release on September 17th for the 360 and PS3. The game's world is comprised of a recreated San Andreas, with the addition of the new Los Santos area, which is based on Los Angeles. Players will take control of Michael, Trevor, and Franklin as they are dragged into the criminal underworld in a quest for wealth. Grand Theft Auto V also features Grand Theft Auto Online, a mode that allows for up to 16 players to free roam and play versus game types such as races and death matches. Taking over-the-top racing to a new level, Hot Wheels World's Best Driver comes out for the 360, PS3, Wii U, PC, and 3DS on September 17th. Half realistic racer and half crazy toy race tracks becoming real, World's Best Driver features four teams with unique vehicles and abilities in their effort to become the best of the best. Four expansive environments, tons of challenges, and 24 vehicles designed by Mattel round out this game's crazy world. Foul Play hits the Xbox 360 and PC on September 19th. A side-scrolling beat-em-up, Foul Play reenacts the epic adventures of Demon Hunter Dashforth and, if played in co-op, his sidekick Scampway. With 22 stages, over 50 different enemies, and tons of skills, Foul Play is definitely a co-op game to grab a buddy for. It's a double whammy of soccer games on September 24th. The first is FIFA 14 for the 360, PS3, Wii, PS2, PSP, Vita, 3DS, and PC. However, much like last month's Madden 25, EA has stated that the best versions of the game will come out on next-gen systems. Also like last month's Madden, FIFA 14 will be using the new Ignite engine, allowing for a more realistic experience. The second of the two soccer games released on September 24th is Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, releasing for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PSP, and PC. Differing itself from EA's Ignite engine, PES 2014 will have its physics engine focus less on the collisions between players and more on the actual physics of the ball itself, utilizing Kojima Productions' Fox engine to faithfully recreate the true soccer feeling. Maxwell's adventures continue in Scribblenauts Unmasked, a DC Comics adventure for the Wii U, 3DS, and PC on September 24th. Unlike the others in the series, Unmasked will feature licensed DC heroes, and not just a few, over 2,000 characters from the DC universe will appear in the game. The gameplay is more or less the same, but gives players the ability to be creative with the new heroes and villains, allowing for creations such as Zombie Superman, Super Batman, and the use of hundreds of different Green Lanterns. The final multi-platform release for this month, Deadfall Adventures, hits on September 27th for both the 360 and PC. 
an action-adventure first-person shooter set in the 1930s who play as a jack-of-all-trades character setting out to hunt for treasure like his legendary grandfather before him. With fast-paced gunplay, a pack of adventuring equipment, a load of multiplayer modes, more puzzles than you'll know what to do with, and exotic locations from around the globe, Deadfall Adventures puts a nice cherry on an action-packed month. Now it's time to take a look at the console exclusives for September. With only two major exclusives, let's take a quick look at what Nintendo offers this month. On September 15th, the next hit from Platinum Games is released for the Wii U exclusively, The Wonderful 101. Parodying traditional giant monster films and the Super Sentai and Power Rangers franchise, The Wonderful 101 is also heavily influenced by Beautiful Joe, a previous game done by the director and producer combo Kamiya and Inaba. With over-the-top action and a unique sense of humor, The Wonderful 101 is a must-have for Wii U owners. And on September 20th, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD gets a digital release for the Wii U. Those looking for a physical copy of the game will have to wait until October. Major changes to this version of the game are reworked graphics, updated controls utilizing the gamepad and its gyroscope, off-TV gameplay letting players use only the gamepad to play the game, and tons more new features. September's Xbox exclusives are all Xbox Live Arcade titles. Marlow Briggs and the Mask of Death releases for the Xbox Live Arcade on September 4th. Very little is known about the game's entire mechanics. However, the game will feature a level-up system and focus on heavy brawling gameplay. There will also be an achievement to skip every cutscene in the game. Released last month for the PC, PS3, and Wii U, DuckTales Remastered finally gets its Xbox 360 release on September 11th. If you've been waiting to grab this game, now is most definitely the time. Time to take a look at the huge amount of Sony exclusives for September. Released last month and hitting PlayStation Network September 3rd, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons is finally available for PlayStation gamers. Borrowing elements from Dynasty Warriors once again and releasing for the PS3 on September 3rd, One Piece Pirate Warriors 2 will introduce a new story, new characters, and put loads of enemies in your path. Also coming out on September 3rd is Kick Beat for the PlayStation 3 and Vita, a play-till-you-die music game that has you kicking enemies in the face to some crazy music. A sequel to the original Killzone and the first in the series to be released on the Vita, Killzone Mercenary releases on September 10th. Mercenary will also be the very first in the series that will allow players to do both missions for the ISA and the Hellgast. Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix hits on September 10th for the PlayStation 3. This game features, for the very first time outside of Japan, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, as well as RE Chain of Memories, both remastered in HD, as well as a cinematic retelling of 358 divided by 2 days. Also released on September 10th is Puppeteer for the PlayStation 3. Following the adventures of Kutaro, a boy whose head was stolen and eaten, Puppeteer is a side-scrolling platformer with a unique sense of style and flair. Released for the 360 and PC last month, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows makes its way to the PS3 on September 24th. The final Sony exclusive for this month shows the Valhalla Knight series making its jump to the Vita on September 24th with Valhalla Knights 3. As usual, PC exclusives for this month are varied and plentiful. Total War Rome 2 satisfies the strategy gamers among us on September 3rd for the PC. On September 4th, those seeking a true survival horror experience will have Outlast on the PC to look forward to. Sneaking and stealth play a huge role in Outlast as you are no warrior and trying to fight the horrors you find will get you killed. Amnesia, a machine for pigs, finally hits PC, Mac, and Linux on September 10th. With larger areas, new gameplay elements, improved enemy AI, and a brand new story, a machine for pigs is a must-play for this month. September 12th gives PC players Arma 3. From lone wolf infiltration, large-scale vehicular warfare, and everything in between, Arma 3's photorealistic graphics and diverse gameplay has something for everyone. A port of 2010's King of Fighters 13 will be hitting PCs on September 13th. This PC port includes a reworked online mode that allows less lag between online matches, creating a more true-to-arcade experience. The free-to-play Mech Warrior Online is finally out of beta and gets its full launch on September 17th for PC. The Kickstarter-funded Broken Sword, The Serpent's Curse, gives the classic point-and-click adventure faithful something to look forward to, as its PC, Mac, Linux, and iOS release is set for September 18th. Vita owners will have to wait a little longer, but pending success, a PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade release may follow. It's time to revisit the World War II setting once again on September 26th with the free-to-play arcade flight sim World of Warplanes for the PC. Wrapping up the PC releases on September 27th, Rise of Venice, a strategy sim set during the Renaissance, allows players to take fate into their own hands and set a new course for history. With the game releases out of the way, it's time to take a quick look at the major DLC for September. September 3rd adds the Sons of Trigon DLC to DC Universe Online. This DLC adds Celestial Powers, a new zone, a new alert mission, three duo missions, new gear, and more. 
bringing the Borderlands 2 level cap up to 72, the Ultimate Vault Hunter Upgrade Pack 2 Digistruct Peak Challenge hits all platforms on September 3rd. In addition to 11 more levels, this DLC will also include new loot, a new map, and more challenges. And expect more Borderlands 2 DLC in the near future. And finally, on September 10th, The Sims 3 will see its ninth and final stuff pack titled Movie Stuff for PC players. Containing comic book, western, horror, and more movie-themed items, this stuff pack will be a must-have for Sims enthusiasts. That wraps up September's major gaming releases. This is just the beginning, folks, as this year still has a ton of amazing games to offer. So as always, I'll see you next month for more.